All right, I have done it. Welcome back to the Geek on My Sleeve channel. I have found a way to get both your desktop audio and your microphone to come out your mic without getting a loop or whoever you're hearing getting a loop of themselves as well as you not having to hear yourself because the previous method I figured out you end up listening to your mic and you hear yourself. Bear with me. There is several layers of inception going on here. I'm going to do my best to explain it. If you have any questions, as always, throw it in the comments below. And honestly, that's how this uh, video came to be. A comment from another video. <laughs> And to make the magic happen, you're going to need virtual cable, stereo mix, OBS, and a headset. Um, you could also do it with multiple virtual cables or a MIDI host, which all separate thing. Anyway. So essentially right now, this is just music playing on my desktop. It is being routed to my virtual cable, but I'm not hearing it in my headset. So to do that, I'm going to get to my recording tab, go to sound settings, control panel. That's gonna bring this up over to recording, which is the other end of my virtual cable. Go to properties, go to listen to device, listen to it with my headset, and essentially this is just setting up so that I hear my desktop audio. Next, I'm gonna go and download OBS, and then with OBS, I'm gonna go into the settings, I'm going to go to audio, and for monitoring device, you want to set that to, for me, it's labeled real speaker, which is the other end of my stereo mix. So I did a video on how to set up stereo mix. I did another video on what to do if you don't have stereo mix. So feel free to check those out. Come back. Anyway, so now that I have the monitoring device set to stereo mix, I'm gonna then click the cog wheel on my audio, advanced audio properties, and then whatever I set to monitor, it's gonna go to my stereo mix. So as you can see right now, desktop audio, I'm hearing my audio, not hearing my microphone, but we're gonna set up with stereo mix. So I want them to hear my desktop. So I'm gonna go to monitor. It doesn't matter which one you do because we're not streaming it. So I'm just gonna go to monitor only. So now we can see my sound here, my desktop audio is going to the mix, which is what we're gonna set up for going out. But if I also do that for my microphone, now you can see both my microphone and the music I have are going to the same thing. And I'm getting it through the stereo mix, but I'm not getting it through my headset, so I'm not hearing it. Yeah, so that's uh, the layers of inception into getting your audio and your microphone without a loop and without an echo. We're gonna show you how you're gonna have it set up for whatever you're utilizing, so we have it monitoring from OBS going to stereo mix because that's what we set up in our settings. But we don't want an echo or a loop from Discord, Skype, Zoom, whatever. So you just set that to your headset. So I'm listening to my virtual cable, which is set for my default sound. So I hear my desktop, but then I've got my VoIP or whatever set to my headset that way it's not looping from the cable to OBS to stereo mix but then my output is stereo mix and sorry if the layers of inception 
were not very uh, easy to follow, feel free to comment below, as well as there are several additional applications. Uh, for example, I have a noise suppression because I've got my PC fans and then I've got a noise gate, you know, dog barking, stuff happening in other room. It's typically below the threshold and then a limiter just so that I, if I get too crazy loud, I don't blow people's eardrums out. And that's going to be a whole separate video. So stay tuned. Check that one out next. I'm going to talk about how to get a bunch of different filters and how to get in my novice means your mic sounding somewhat decent. Bye.